Hey everyone, Chris Madsen here. In this video, I'm going to show you how the actual ET66 calculator is assembled on an assembly line. My hope is that as you see that going together, it might inspire you to know how to put all those ET66 calculator parts that you have together into a CAD assembly. Let's do it. Here is the calculator in its assembled form. Um, we can see uh, the buttons with the different colors, the placement of uh, each particular button. We can see the LCD screen area. We can also see the Braun logo applied here and then the on off and the clear buttons here. On the back side, we can see the placement of the small logo and the large logo. These are in recesses. And then we can see here the uh, two foot pads. And then on here, this is a hard plastic uh, foot pad. It's not a foot pad, but it's a, a hard plastic foot. And then these are soft rubber foot pads. Here we see the battery door. And under the battery door, we can see uh, two screws plus the battery. And then we can see the battery contacts that are in there. So pop this thing back in there and this thing in here. And this is our completed version of the calculator. And what I'm gonna show now is how this goes together. So as is the case with all um, electronics such as these, uh, it's a good idea to think about how this gets assembled in real life as we figure out how we're going to do the assembly in the CAD model. I think it's good to think about it that way. And the way a product like this would be made in real life is that this top cover would first be, this front cover would be placed down and then different pieces would be populated into this in order to construct it. Okay, so I'm going to look at my pieces that I have here and one of the first pieces I'm going to put in is the LCD uh, cover. Okay, that's going to go right in there. Okay, and then we will have the LCD bezel which is this one, okay, and that goes green side down, okay, and this fits right in there. I'm not sure if I have that in the right direction, but let's find out. Does it go this way? I don't think so. I think it goes just like this. Yes, and that kind of pressed in place uh, is sort of a little fit there. Uh, then we have the LCD screen, uh, which is this one, and then there's also the LCD contacts, which are this one. And these contacts um, sit on here just like this with a little bit of adhesive. You can see the pink, the black, the pink, and then the glass. I don't know that I'll be able to hold that in place. Um, but the way that this one goes is that it, it actually goes inside of the a rubber LCD holder, LCD screen holder. Let me uh, figure out exactly how that goes. Okay, I believe it goes like this. Okay, just like that. And then this thing goes down here like this. I'm 90% sure this is how it goes together. Let's try it right now. Okay, and then this thing, with it being held in place, it, it's usually held with a little bit of adhesive. Um, whoops, got that upside down. This thing fits in here just like this. Okay, just like that. Now this pink and black thing is a contact strip that connects um, connects the glass of the LCD to the circuit board. So that's an indication that the circuit board is going to go like this, where this line of contacts meets up with the pink and black. However, I need to think a little bit about how all these other pieces go in here. Okay, this is gonna go on afterwards. Um, <coughs> we are we are going to pop in some buttons now. Okay, and we need to find the green button. I'm looking right here. The red is on the inside of the part. 
The green is on the outside of the part. <clears throat> then we have the uh, button silicone pad. It's just going to fit right in there like that. Okay, then we have these battery contacts, which, uh, dang, I probably should think about those sometime really soon. Um, and then we have all of these buttons. Let me lay out all these buttons so that I know which ones go where. And hopefully that represents all of them. And uh, what we need here is the CE, the clear button. That one goes over here. Then what we have is a silicone pad. And the silicone pad goes on here. And the question is, how does it go? It goes just like that. OK. Then we can take the circuit board. We can place this here. Okay. <clears throat> then we can see what kind of screws we have. Okay. The screws in there, the screws in there. Okay, just like that. Then what we have is that this thing goes on here like this. Okay. We need to do first though is we need to understand what's going on with these contacts. Okay. This contact goes in here like this. Let's actually make sure this is correct. Yep. And then this contact so we're here like this. Okay, and then we have these wires that get routed here somewhere to that solder joint. And we have these wires get routed over to this joint. All right. Then we have this thing goes on here like this. And in these cases, we now have these flat screws. Okay, so that's that. Then I have the back cover. Let's put this battery back in over here. Then I have this back cover. And before I get the back cover all the way in, I need to get these little feet right in there. I need to get this little foot right in there. Then this thing is the proper calculator. Now what I can do is put this together, starting at the bottom. Now what I can do is take this thing Oops, that doesn't want to stay like that. Pop. Pop 
the battery in here and the cover on. And then the way that this would work is that this sticker be placed in this recess and this sticker be placed in that recess. So there we have it. All right, that's how the ET66 calculator goes together. Hope that was helpful. Hope that gave you some insight on how this thing works.